The presser, the cutter, the ringer, the mangle, the needle, the union, the treadle, the bobbin, the code. The infamous blaze at the Triangle Factory in 1911. 146 died in the flames on the ninth floor. No hydrants, no fire escapes. The witness in a building across the street who watched how a young man helped a girl to step up to the windowsill, then held her out away from the masonry wall and let her drop. And then another, as if he were helping them up to enter a streetcar and not eternity. The people were used and neglected. These factories were extremely crowded, uh, very, very little space between the sewing machines. The doors were kept locked, the windows were kept closed. One day on Saturday, we smelled, we were always ready to leave, we smelled smoke. On March 25th, at about 4.55 in the afternoon, 1911, a fire broke out on the eighth floor of the Ash Building. The fire quickly spread to the ninth floor, and you had shirtwaists hanging on wires all around the room, and scraps from the muslin and the various materials were all over the floor. The fire spread very rapidly, and the girls began to try to find a way of escape. All of a sudden, they got a terrible panic. Everybody was running to the door. It was locked. Fire was streaming off of their bodies, and they rush out onto this fire escape, and it snaps because of the weight of all the girls. And unfortunately, 146 people died in that fire. They held hands and jumped out of windows. The street below was littered with bodies. Bodies were piled up. The fire trucks could barely get next to the building because of the bodies. Girls jumped onto sidewalk glass pieces. It was just this frightening spectacle. Girls in shirtwaists, which were aflame, went flying out of the building so that you saw these young women literally ablaze flying out of the windows. I figured, I want to know what the executives are doing. And I ran towards the 10th floor. And when I came there, they saved themselves already. They knew to take the freight elevator up to the rooftop, but the girls did not. And what were they to do? I put my dress over my head, and I got myself on the roof. I met the firemen. And I had tears in my eyes. There was a distance from the roof to the top of the Jason building. They had to hoist me up, and that's the way I got on the other side. And they brought me towards the stairs. I sat down on every stoop and cried till I was in the street. When I came in the street, here comes my father. He collapsed. He fainted. And I didn't go back to work anymore. I went to college. The Triangle Shirtwaist Factory fire has to be placed in context. It's one of those watershed moments in a society when the conscientious people in that society take note and say, wait, if this can happen, what kind of a society are we? And the very next day, you had cartoons, you had headlines, you had long stories in all of the papers about how truly hideous this was and what it meant about greed and about work conditions. That's the whole trouble of this fire. Nobody cares. Nobody. 146 people in a half an hour? I have always tears in my eyes when I think of it. It should never have happened. The executives, a couple steps could have opened the door. What the heck are they better than the working people? It's not fair. Because material 
uh, money. It's more important here than everything. That's the biggest mistake, that a person doesn't count much when he hasn't got money. What good is a rich man and he hasn't got a heart? I, I uh, don't pretend. I feel it. It's terrible. I, I feel very bad about it.